Hey guys, how's it going? I like to say it once again, thank you for watching my videos. You guys are awesome for that. Uh, this video has been a long time in the making. I've been trying to get different clips and stuff like that, and it just didn't work out the way I wanted to kind of show it. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to go over Martyr's Retribution. Martyr's Retribution is the grenade launcher from the Sundial. It is in the energy slot. Uh, and if we go over it here... You can see that it's, it's, it's a new type of grenade launcher. Normally, we have a hold and release grenade launcher, and we have, you know, just the ones that just you shoot, it hits, and you're done. What makes Martyr's Retribution very interesting is that it is a wave frame. So it's a one-shot handheld grenade launcher that relieves the waves of energy when it contacts the ground. And what that means is you can, you can shoot it right at a target, and it will do like a pinch of damage. And once it actually finally lands on the ground, that's when you're gonna see the wave. The wave acts the same way as a termite grenade for a Titan would. It does an, a bunch of damage initially through the freaking ground. And that's what like that's what kind of makes this grenade launcher kind of stand out because you can almost use it as uh an ad control or an ad clear. It is only one wave. It is not just like it's not like the Titan Termite, which kind of goes three times. This thing only does it once. But I found a few different intrinsic things about this grenade launcher. Like if I go against the Cyclops, I can shoot it into the Cyclops and get it stuck in there. And since the game doesn't register as that being on the ground, it it just keeps moving around and keeps taking that same uh, small damage over and over and over and over again. Um, let me see if I can show you that here in game. It's going to be hard to do because I, I try finding, uh, you know, just just something that I can. Uh, I try finding something like uh, Cyclops, like in the game, or just a, 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 a crazy. I don't know, like a crazy situation where I can kind of get this stuck into a target. I even tried doing Riven in her mouth, but it, 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 it didn't work out the way I wanted to show you. But like, let's see here, like the ogre, right? If I shoot the ogre, you can see that 2067 is what hits the ogre, right? But if I jump in the air and actually get the wave frame to work, if I shoot here, you can see that there are two different numbers. There's, there's the potential hit, and then there's the wave frame damage, which only goes through once. Now, let me see if I can kind of show you what I mean by this. I'm gonna see if I can recreate this 2057 a few times. I'm trying to get it right in the hip of this ogre, but this is not working. As you can see, there the 2057 hit a few times in the ogre. You see that? I got two or three hits. Now, like I said, if you do go against the Cyclops, or you know, you're like wondering what the hell ZK is talking about, just try to get that shot like stuck in it. You'll see that the damage just happens over time, and that Cyclops is going to die from it. Here's another cool thing about this gun. I tried going in and figuring out, you know, whether it needed blast radius, whether it needed velocity. Like, I wanted to know what made it tick, right? I wanted to know which barrel was the better thing for this. And I use all barrels. And one of the perfect situations that I'm, I'm going to show here is I don't think the first two. Well, even the mass work matter that much. I'm still going to give you what I think I will prefer on this gun. But I'm just going to show you a difference here. So I kind of brought this captain down. He likes to hang out on the ground, right? So I'm going to take off his shield. I have two different grenade launchers set here. One has a velocity masterwork, smart drift and high velocity. And the other has smart drift and, uh, and high velocity with blast radius. And we're basically going to see the difference between the two. All right. So here we go. As you can see here, same damage. 5037 and 11454. And if I switch. All right. Here we go. I am doing the same exact thing. So I don't think, uh, I don't think the barrels matter at all. And the reason why I say that is because. I tested it, man. I changed it to confined launch. I changed it to hard launch. I changed it to uh, linear compensator. Over time, honestly, use whatever you like. 
But I like smart drift with high velocity. Doesn't mean that that's something that you should go for. I even tried going for Genesis a few times. And I thought about this. With Genesis being there, the gun actually reloads way before Genesis is even proc, right? I would shoot it, it would take off a shield, and all of a sudden Genesis was already proc. So what's the point of me even using that for that purpose? So I kept going in, I was looking at the other, you know, just, just the different things that I could get on this gun, right? And here are the options. We have order loading, we have fill prep, we have threat detector, we have Genesis, we have underdog. Out of all of these, I believe I like auto loading because if I'm gonna use this gun to clear up on ads, I'm probably going to just shoot it down, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot it at the ground. It's gonna clear out that wave. I'm gonna switch weapons to my primary, whether I'm using a hand cannon, an SMG, uh, whatever I have in my hand, a scout rifle, a pulse rifle, an AR, whatever I like to use. Once, once that initial shot goes through, I have 2.5 seconds in order for this gun, you know, just, to, just, just for that one wave. And when it comes back, if I need it again, I could do it again. The gun does great damage. And if I'm running a good heavy, I don't really need to worry that much about reload on this gun either. So here's where a lot of things come into play. I noticed that blast radius is not a thing that I need. I noticed that velocity is not a thing that I need. But then what am I going to do? Am I going to get a stability or, or handling master work? That's where it comes into play, right? For me, if I don't want to spend that much going into reload, meaning like I don't want on my gauntlets, I don't want to spend five for a hands uh, reload, I'm going to put on the elemental capacitor, especially if I like to run solar subclasses. Why do you say that? I get increased reload speed if I am on a solar subclass. I'm also going to go for a reload masterwork. What does that bring my reload to? It brings my reload to 85, but I still don't know exactly how much the increased reload for elemental capacitor is because the game generally doesn't kind of tell you that, but I'm sure that it maxes it out and I can use the generic uh I can use the generic reload uh grenade launcher reload i don't need to use the enhanced grenade launcher reload i could just use a generic grenade launcher reload so now here is my role all right you can have anything in the first two i personally like auto loading besides auto loading this is the next thing that i would go for is probably fill prep why fill prep because when you crouch you get to reload faster do you really need fill prep i don't think so but is it nice to have? Of course, because while you crouch, you get to reload faster. Um, let me just show here too. In game, with a hand grenade launcher loader on, and I throw on elemental capacitor, we'll see that my reload is definitely going to be capped out. I like demolitionist. Why do I like demolitionist? Because if I if I throw a grenade, and that grenade is gone and I shoot one shot off of Martyrs, and Martyrs clears up a, a certain amount of wave of ads, I will get my grenade back, which will basically keep a flow of things. And if I throw my grenade, right, it reloads my weapon. So we're going we're gonna to test out two different things here, all right? So here we are. I'm going to throw my grenade. Actually, I'm not on the maliciousness yet. I'm sorry. As you can see here, this thing just it, it covers it covers ground, and I can also do this, right? I can go to my weapon here, shoot it a few times, come back to this, and boom, keep on the shelf. But I don't think reload is is, is such a big thing that's needed, especially if you run an elemental capacitor. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back out, I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to throw on Demolitionist so we can kind of see the difference between the two, all right? I think Auto Load and Demolitionist are going to be my favorites. You can always use Fill Prep so you can, you can crouch uh, while you reload, but I don't think you need it, especially if you have the gauntlets for a hands grenade launcher loader. 
if you're using auto loading, then you don't need to worry about reload at all, right? Genesis, I was a huge fan of. I tried testing it. I tried making it work. It didn't automatically reload it because as Genesis hit, you were already reloading the weapon. All right. So I'm going to throw this out. As you can see here, I basically have my grenade back. Would this be something that I would rather use? Yes, it would. And if I do this and I throw my grenade, look at that. My gun is back and loaded once again. This is definitely a fun weapon to use. I haven't used it as much as I want to yet. But if you haven't known the Sundial, it is definitely something to keep. For the future you never know uh, a great place to use this would be reckoning especially on that bridge with all those ads coming at you you can just kind of like you know shoot one have a kill a bunch of things especially on a day that like grenadiers on is like a perfect thing or even like taking it to strikes man this gun is freaking awesome it's very different and i'm glad that bungie's bringing in things like wave frames I do hope that there's more complex weapons in the future. Um, it is weird that like it doesn't rely on blast radius or velocity or even the barrels as much. Um, and even between high velocity and implosion, I didn't see a difference there. I didn't see a, a huge option like, hey, this is better than that. They're both kind of the same to me. All right. I also do like using freehand grip because I, I mean. Unless you have range finder and you and you kind of want to zoom in, but here's the thing: range finder kind of helps you out with range, and then like velocity and blast radius on all the other jazz. In this situation, you don't need it at all. You really don't, you know. But like I said, when you guys get the chance, make sure you get one and go test it out. It's a really fun gun to use. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming in and seeing what I think about this weapon. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.